What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I finally made it out to the lake to test out this 10 by 8 APC prop, which I've already attached. <sighs> Excuse me, it's kind of early in the morning and I'm a graveyard worker, so I'm not used to being up at this hour, so you might hear me yawn a little bit, and I do apologize. But okay, so I got this APC prop on my Endura Max 55. We got the amp meter hooked up and we got the app running, which it doesn't want to work at the time for the speed anyway. So what we're going to do, since this motor doesn't have the pre-selected speeds, you know, one through five, like uh, some of the cheaper model trolling motors have, I'm going to add five amps. So what we're going to do, we're going to run, I'm going to twist this throttle forward until I am drawing five amps, check the speed. Then we're going to go to 10 amps, 15, 20, all the way up to max speed and record our speed, record, it's early, I'm sorry. <laughs> and record our speed at each uh, amp, at each uh, 5, 10, 15. Now, you, you get the drill. It's early. I can't think. So <laughs> let's start off by 5 amps. And this is harder than it looks. Uh, you barely twist this throttle, and it will jump on you. So And answer anybody's question, if these props are weedless, they are definitely not weedless. I already had to clear this prop once. And I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on this prop here. Okay, 5.1 amps. That's, that's good enough, I guess. Now, if we can get the fish jump. 2.3 miles per hour and I'm sorry the phone's upside down this app does work better if the phone is facing the direction that we're moving so and I say that and it quits working <laughs> okay come on wake up phone. there we go 2.4 miles per hour at 5 amps let's go to 10 amps and all we're doing is pretending each step of the amps we're gaining from 5 to 10 is like each speed of the trolling motor. And we're going to try the 10 by 5 afterwards. So let's go to 10 amps. Like I said, it's real touchy. I'm, I'm trying to get as close to 10 amps as I can. Okay, 10.2. Let's see if I can back it off a touch. That's too much, I bet. Ah. Okay, good enough, huh? 3.3 miles per hour at 10 amps. And I'm trying to set still. That way I don't alter the speed at all. Come on. I saw 3.3. But that could have been me moving the phone. So 3.1. I did see that. So let's go to 15 amps. Fifteen point two. I don't think it's gonna be a huge difference here. And there is no wind today. Just putting that out there. So I do got to get this test done rather quick. There's storms moving through. Real cloudy day out today. Fifteen amps. I saw three point six. I'm gonna go with three point six. Twenty amps. A little bit too much there. Come on. Man, this is difficult. You barely turn the throttle and that amps move. Oh, almost perfect. And it's got to drop. <laughs> 
3.8 at 20 amps. 19 and a half amps, but we'll call 20 amps. It's close enough. Okay, 25 amps. Which barely twisting the throttle. Come on. You guys okay with 24-7 instead of 25? <laughs> 3.9 miles per hour. All right. Let's go 30 amps. Yeah, 30.3, good enough. Drop a little bit. So as the boat speed increases, and the boat reaches its maximum speed for how fast the prop is turning. The amps drop a little bit. But it looks like we're going to do about 4 miles per hour at 30 amps. 3.94. Alright, 35. And remember the last video that the maximum amperage this motor was drawing with a 10 by 5 was 26 amps, 27 amps. This 10 by 8 draws a lot more. Thirty-five amps, four point two, and let's go thirty-five to max speed. So let me get this boat turned around real quick. So I'm starting to run into the docks over here. All right, I can't go too much. Uh, I can't go top speed for too long because it draws way too much current. But forty-five amps. Let's see how fast it gets going. 4.3, 4.4. See if it's got any more. Making a nice wake anyway. I mean, if you were a small animal or something, you could probably be wakeboarding right here. <laughs> yeah, I saw 4.4, I think, but I'm gonna go with 4.3. There's not a big difference in speed there, but wires are already getting warm, so we're gonna we're gonna stop. Alrighty, well off camera I went ahead and bolted on the 10x5 prop. So let me, let me go ahead and reverse a little bit. And the same thing, we're going to go by amps of 5 and check our speed. And that's going to tell us the efficiency of the prop. Now I've already checked it off camera. This maximum amp draw of this one here, this 10x5, is about 26, 27 amps. And the speed's about, top speed's about the same as a 10x8, 4.2, 4.1, so... Already, I can tell you that this 10 by five is better at top speed efficiency anyways, but let's compare it by going by amps of five versus the speed and we'll see which one's better. So we're gonna go ahead and start at five amps. There's a lot of boats out here too, so I don't want to run into anybody. All right, we're at five amps. Now let's wait for this darn app to work. Two point five. That's what I saw before it stopped. We can increase it a little bit actually so let's there we go 4.9 what's it say 2.5 miles per hour okay and at 10 amps running this motor will last 15 hours okay we're at 10 amps now let's wait for this stupid app to work Sometimes when you move it, it, it kicks on. Okay, here we go. 10 amps, 3.3 miles per hour, old 9.8. 3.3 miles per hour. 
Let me try to get that again on camera. 3.4 miles per hour at 10 amps. We'll turn the boat around. Let's go 15 amps. Overshot it there a little bit. Come on. All right. Yeah, come on. I don't know if it's the meter or me. <laughs> okay, at 15 amps, we're doing 3.8, 3.9. Four miles an hour at 15 amps. I, I saw that. I saw it. Did you? Leave it a nice wake. Twenty amps now. Let's go to twenty amps and see what we get. Probably not much more because the top speed this inflatable boat usually goes is right about four miles per hour. It's not much faster. Pick up, phone. Yeah, see, at, at 20 amps. You're not doing much faster. So obviously, guys, the uh, APC 10x5 wins.